Hello and welcome to Operation Crypto and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to do some price analysis on Harmony One. We will have a look at some potential areas that you could invest and then some targets going forward. So first up, please make sure you do hit that like button, that you are subscribed to my channel and let's crack on. So let's begin. I did put a poll out earlier on um, saying which price analysis should I do? I know that uh, Chili's is absolutely flying and how many one is too. So the poll has spoken and we are doing some price analysis on how many one today. I will start off by just taking a look on coin market cap at some of the stats. As you can see, a market cap today, $1.8 trillion. It's always been said, um, how many over the cost last few months, we're expecting the entire crypto market to get a, a further five to eight trillion dollars injected into a market over the course of this next bull cycle so we've still got a long way to go even though you are seeing some significant gains currently i think we still have a long way to go so let's take a look at how many one stats so as you can see it is ranked number 103 out of all cryptocurrencies and we have a coin price today of pretty much 5.5 cent 0.05511 dollars we are 13.5 percent up on today's trading scrolling down if you are looking to get hold of some how many and you've not already binance and binance us is getting a fair chunk of volume if you just look at the confidence it has been knocked a little bit uh some um, lawsuits getting put in place in, uh, in the US, but that happens every um, every few months over there. So I won't worry about that. It has knocked the confidence down, but in my opinion, it's still one of the best exchanges to use. One point to note is the all-time highs, which has been very, very um, close. It was yeah 11 hours ago. We did hit 6.7 cent. We have retraced 18 cent from them. So now could be a good potential area to get in some investment. So that's some of the key stats. Let's jump over to Training View and let's have a look at the, um, the USDT pairing first. And then we will jump into some price analysis on the BTC pair too. So I have got two key areas marked up of weekly, which are support. Here. So weekly um, support levels. This one down here at 0 0.017, which um, we have tapped down on that once before we set off on this moon mission. And then we have some weekly um, support at pretty much three cent on my nose so there are two levels which may not come into play but let's just zoom into the daily see what's going on here let me just go back to a weekly second actually yeah the macd is still bullish there so let's go back into a daily so we are on a monumental rise things are looking good let's just see if we've got any support levels down here uh, you could say there's one in around there so we'll just mark that area up it's it's not quite on but that is a, a key support level for me um, that is at 3.8 cent uh, so that is a potential area we could come down to as well i'm going to do my ta on the four hour time frame for some potential areas to invest just looking at the rsi we are quite overbought up at 74 percent but like i say we we popped up to 6.7 cent which is real time highs which will mark it up as well horizontal rate from the top double click on that give it an all-time high ticket that is his first target to go for once we do start pushing up as you can see we are getting a little bit of market structure in place now so what i'm going to do is drop down to four hour time frame and have a look at the next move so if you look it moves in cycles we hit some highs and then we retrace we hit some highs we retrace and this is the next move which we are retracing so let's put a fibonacci on from this level here which is very close to that daily support top to bottom and this good does give you some good key levels to mark up as potential buy zones whenever i'm doing investing and if you've watched my videos before i always look to target this level here, the 382 but we have now dropped below that so you would expect that the 618 level could come into play and we could potentially fill some orders there the 618 is usually king um, so that is at 0 0.049 which is very very close to 5 cent i think 5 cent could now be acting as some natural psychological support so people will be thinking right i don't want to buy in here but i would happily buy at 5 cent so we could drop down to that area i mean we are coming down we are starting to trend down um i mean if you look on the hourly time frame 
yeah, we are starting a bit of a downtrend on the out um, the four hours. So these two levels, I mean, we've already passed that level. The six one eight level could come into play very, very soon. We do need to remember that the dips are for buying. People always take profits. People will have bought down here so they will be in a very handsome amount of profit um if we just look at that for example from that lowest wick down there up to that top that's close to a thousand percent so people are 10x up on their their one so they will be taking profit that doesn't mean that it's not going to continue to rise it will at some stage but profit taking must happen so there are two buy zones there as you can see the macd on the four hour is starting to just sway down towards bearish so we may come down and test these levels you might even fill some orders down at this daily support at 3.8 cent and 0.44 so just keep your eyes on the prize and it might come down and then take off again if you're looking for a potential trade setup um if we just put the where is it now the long position you could set up a long from this position here we have five percent stop loss around 4.7 cent and then target rose high so you've got a potential 36 percent trade there that's with no leverage so if you're looking to leverage it then that could be um increased massively so yeah potential buy zone there at 0 0.49 um so that is uh the the some potential buy-ins with targets really the first target to break through is 6.7 cent and then we have the negative fibonacci levels at negative 0.27 and negative 6.18 they are at 7.5 cent and 0 0.08 so that's 8.5 cent as well my first target for how many one 10 cent i think once we do push up towards 10 cent and um, that will be a nice area for people to take profit and also, when we do get there, give me a nudge in my Telegram group and I will do some further price analysis and have a look at some further levels above. I'm not going to go any higher than that yet because I like to keep pretty much my feet on the ground and not try to target anywhere too high. I mean, you probably get a few YouTubers jumping all over $10, but it's not going to happen, is it? Uh, definitely not over the course of the next few months anyway. So $0.10 cent is my first target there. And then um, one, I think we do need to break through all-time highs first and, and target some of these extensions on the FIB. So that is the, um, the US dollar pair. If we just take a quick look at a BTC pair too, this again is doing a pretty much a, a, a good retracement. We'll put a FIB on. So this is the start of a move here. Top. To, um, bottom to top and we are coming down to a 61% retracement low if you have a look at the satoshi pairs or btc pairs scroll up to the top here i've got btc at the top btc is creating new all-time highs and that inevitably takes it out on the btc pairings too so when btc is rising you get a get a better value for your satoshi so this is a level i will potentially place some orders at 88 satoshis but if BTC starts going on a bit of a moon mission, then we have 80 Satoshis too. So they are two potential buy levels there if you are looking to buy in the Satoshi pair. And then the first major hurdles are breaking above 119 and then 150 sats. I think if we do push up to 150 sats or we push up to a round um, 10 cent, then give me a nudge again and I will do some further price analysis. So that is the first target on on the btc pairing um let's just have a look at the rsi the rsi was well overbought and we are coming down into a, a middle ground now and the the macd is looking bearish if we do get across on these moving averages then we may see some lower prices um let's just put the emas on he was a 9 and a 30 not showing any significant areas of bearishness yet we had a bullish cross down here and pushed back up and i think that will be the same for the the usdt pair if we just put that on where is it there we go yeah i mean wow the the emas will have been bullish since the first of march and there's showing no sign of a swing in um downward momentum so all is looking good so if you manage to fill some orders down at these levels then happy days a couple of targets there and a couple of buy-ins for you so that is going to do it for today's analysis on how many won if you do have any questions like i say jump into my telegram group which is the crypto troops you'll find that link in the pinned comment in the description if you are not already subscribed then hit that subscribe button to make sure notifications are on please like the video and I'll catch you next time.